According to the World Health Organization, about 422 million people worldwide have diabetes, and it's also the cause of around 1.5 million deaths yearly. Diabetes is a serious medical condition that is becoming very common in many parts of the world. And one pretty interesting thing is that the warning signs can be so mild that you don't even realize there's a problem. And this is among the reasons for the growing population of patients with serious cases of diabetes. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some early warning signs of diabetes as well as ways to deal with them with some important practices. Do stay tuned and enjoy! Diabetes is a progressive medical condition in which blood sugar issues occur from time to time, and generally there are some stages that eventually lead up to more chronic cases of diabetes. Of these stages, the first one is insulin resistance. This is the first sign of blood sugar-related problems, or diabetes, and it can occur years before the final diagnosis of diabetes. Naturally, the food we eat becomes sugar in the body as it enters the blood. The pancreas then releases a hormone known as insulin to remove this sugar from your blood and direct it to enter your cells for use as energy. Over time, cells stop responding well to insulin, hence becoming insulin resistance. However, the pancreas keeps producing more insulin to make the cells respond. But eventually, it's unable to keep up with the production, and as a result, blood sugar keeps rising, leading to a range of conditions in the body. Usually, this first stage goes unnoticed and the changes experienced here are not too serious. Though the many changes that your body goes through here can create serious health issues in the future. Moving on, another stage is pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes occurs when your blood glucose is outside the normal range but not high enough to be considered as diabetes. At this point, a case of diabetes is still reversible, and it is also the point where you need to start taking note of some warning signs to help you make some lifestyle changes to manage and turn the situation in your favor. Like with insulin resistance, symptoms or signs of pre-diabetes are not very dominant, and it might even take a blood test that reveals high glucose levels to tell you something is wrong. After insulin resistance and pre-diabetes, things start to go wrong when your blood glucose enters a dangerous range. And here, symptoms occur more, and they range from mild to progressively worse. When diabetes goes untreated in the early years, patients are at a huge risk of really serious medical conditions. And this is the case, taking note of some vital warning signs will be key in how it progresses or reduces. Here are some of the key signs to look out for. Number 1. Hunger and Fatigue This is one of the more common signs to look out for, and it also happens pretty early due to the body's processes reacting to insulin resistance and lack of energy. Just as we've mentioned earlier, the human body converts the food we eat to glucose to then be used by the cells for energy. However, the cells require insulin to take in glucose, and at the point where the body cannot produce more insulin, glucose is unable to get in, and as a result, there is no energy. Due to this, you'll start to get hungrier and more tired than usual. Even when you eat, you may still feel hungry, and this is because your muscles and body in general aren't getting enough energy. Lack of energy also means you'll mostly feel fatigued even without doing anything. Number 2. Frequent Urination and Excessive Thirst Like with hunger, frequent urination and excessive thirst are two other pretty similar symptoms, with the three of them falling under the umbrella of polyphagia, a medical term for excessive hunger. While the average person is believed to urinate between four to seven times daily, diabetic patients tend to urinate more, even at night. Normally, your body is expected to reabsorb glucose and pass it through your kidneys. However, with increased blood sugar, your kidneys may not be able to complete that process anymore, and this causes your body to make more urine and have a frequent urge to drink more water. Due to frequent urination, you're more likely to get very thirsty, and as you also take up lots of water to quench your thirst, this also allows you to urinate more. If you notice that you have to pee more than 7 times daily, and you also have to get up every couple of hours at night just to pee, then you should consider seeing a professional. Number 3. Itchy Skin and Dry Mouth As you keep urinating every now and then, your body has less moisture for other things, and as you get dehydrated, making your mouth feel dry. This also tends to affect your skin, with dry skin making it more likely to feel itchy. Diabetes also exposes patients to a condition known as ankinthosis nigricans. It usually develops in skin folds such as the back of the neck, axilla, and groin, where it causes a dark discoloration. 
It generally causes areas a dark, thick, velvety skin and body folds increases. The condition is also most commonly associated with diabetes and insulin resistance. Studies related to ankynthosis nigricans and diabetes have found that it develops due to insulin-mediated activation of insulin-like growth factors on keratinocytes, a major cell type of the epidermis. A study in the National Library of Science shows that in patients with benign ankythosis nigricans, evidence suggests that insulin or an insulin-like growth factor or IGF enhances the propagation of epidermal cells, with a high concentration of insulin thought to cause proliferative effects to binding to IGF-1 receptors, which also have been found to play an important role in the pathogenesis of diabetic encephalopathy. Diabetic encephalopathy is one of the several microvascular complications of diabetes that affects the central nervous system and it is characterized by impaired cognitive functions as well as neurochemical, electrophysiological, and structural abnormalities. Number 4. Blurry Vision Interestingly, diabetes can also cause blurry vision, and it even tends to range from minor problems that can be corrected by just stabilizing your blood sugar to even more serious issues that can mean an appointment with your doctor. Blurry vision means you're finding it hard to make out fine details in what you're seeing, and it sometimes happens when your glucose level is not in the right range. When the situation gets worse and even takes longer, it causes what is known as diabetic retinopathy, which is a term used to describe retinal disorders caused by diabetes. It also has four stages ranging from mild to moderate to severe, and then a stage where it starts causing the growth of new, abnormal blood vessels in the retina. The condition is not curable, though it can be stabilized with treatment. Number 5. Hair Loss Another symptom of diabetes to watch out for is hair loss. Diabetes can cause thinning of hair and hair loss in many people as it can impair hair growth, cause more hair to grow than normal, and also stop new hair from forming. Uncontrolled diabetes can result in high blood sugar levels, and when this is the case, it can damage various tissues, organs, blood vessels, and other parts of the body. When the blood vessels particularly are damaged, this can restrict blood flow, thus ensuring that certain cells get less oxygen and nutrients than they need. This damage can seriously affect the normal growth cycle of the hair follicles, and this is what then leads to hair loss, which can become severe at a later point. Number 6. Weight Loss while there can be a range of conditions that results in weight loss, weight loss due to diabetes is quite explanatory based on the body's processes. When there is a lack of sufficient insulin to get glucose from the blood into the cells for energy, the body starts burning fat and muscle to gain energy, and this causes a reduction in overall body weight. As excessive hunger is another related symptom, patients are also likely to lose weight due to the inability to satisfy the body's needs to take in more food as energy away from the warning signs to the right ways to slow down progression or even prevent it entirely several lifestyle and dietary changes must be made one very important thing to do is to reduce your total carb intake and focus on a high fiber diet as they are more beneficial to your gut health and can help prevent diabetes you will also want to reduce your portion sizes and drink water mainly you will also have to cut down on highly processed food as well as smoking or drinking even though water is what you'll mainly be drinking, you can take coffee or tea sometimes, as either choice is helpful in preventing and reducing the risk of diabetes. Exercise will also play a significant role, especially since it can help reduce insulin resistance and high blood sugar levels. A mix of strength training, high-intensity interval training, and aerobic exercises are the recommended options to add to your routine. What are your thoughts on fasting as a way to prevent or manage diabetes? Let us know in the comments section. If you also enjoyed the video, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, you should also check out the number one cause of insulin resistance over age 40, 4 ways to fix it fast.